For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. We spent the last week of January at the Salt Springs Campground in Fort McCoy, Florida. This is near Ocala in the Ocala National Forest. We were excited to be able to spend five nights at this campground because it is a very popular spot in the winter months for snowbirds. The spring is beautiful and crystal clear. The campground was well manicured and easy to get into. There was laundry and restaurants nearby in the small town of Salt Springs. There is much to do in this area, such as boating, swimming, kayaking, and hiking. We rented kayaks and did some hiking. Although we did not find a lot of hiking trails, we did manage to continue getting our 10,000 steps a day by walking around the campground and over to the springs. Swimming was not an option because the spring water is 72 degrees and the weather was quite cool while we were there. We're about to leave Salt Springs in the Ocala National Park. Yeah, it's a nice full hookups. I mean, it's just a big RV park. They've just been, they're still in the process of refurbishing all the electric. We have a new one, so that was good. The water's good. The sewer's fine. A little bit of an odd spot. We had to stretch our hose, but that's fine. Everybody has a fire ring, table. Like I said, it's, you know, for RV park camping, this is great. There's a nice spring you can walk to. There's a big tent camping area. Uh, there's a little marina that we rented kayaks. It was a lot of fun. You'll see that. Overall, pretty good. Definitely stays full in here, so. It is right near Highway 19, which is kind of a little bit noisy, but not too bad. Asphalt parking. Um, yeah, pretty good. One block to get us level. Great. We rented kayaks at the Salt Springs Marina and Landings. It was very close to the campground, but we did need to drive to get there. We rented two single kayaks and we paid $50 for a half a day. The marina is located at the head of Salt Springs and the run is about five miles before it leads into Lake George. We made it about halfway and saw some manatees and other wildlife. There's Rhonda. <laughs> yes, I'm about ready to go. I'm going to go paddle over there to the side. <laughs> Coming up on a nice hammock here. We've been going through this Everglades looking uh, river of grass. And this is really the first beachy area we've seen. But this is Florida. saw uh, what I think is a bald eagle back in a tree. White head, white tail feathers. As 
I mentioned earlier, the spring is crystal clear and beautiful. The water is full of natural magnesium and potassium salts, and this is why the water tastes salty. According to the Salt Springs History website, the spring is known as the Fountain of Youth because of the water's healing properties. We loved visiting this park and hope to visit it again in the winter months as we return to Florida. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.